If there is one thing you and I can all enjoy, it is going to the movies or watching your favorite television show. Movies and television have been around for a long time. Here is the history of it. The first movie camera designed with a patent was in 1888 in England by a French man named Louis Le Prince. In 1981, an American named Thomas Edison invented the first camera in America, aka the kin kinetograph. <laughs> the first real film in, was in Route Hay, Leeds, England, and it was called the Route Hay Garden Scene. film was Al Jolson's The Jazz Singer and it was released in 1927. By the 1930s all film had sound. Before the 1960s all films and later most were in black and white. The first film to use color was The Wizard of Oz in 1939. The film started off in black and white and stepped into the Technicolor world of Oz. Oh my gosh. Since Technicolor was expensive, it really did not become common until the 1950s and 1960s. Then in the 1950s and 1960s was an innovation of 3D movies. 3D graphics were invented in the Victorian era through a device called the stereoscope. The device had a double picture placed in a stand which the viewer his eyes would cross the picture through two lenses. The first 3D movies were anaglyphs. In other words, the red picture overlaps a cyan picture, and the glasses had a red and cyan lens. In the later 2000s, the innovation of Real D 3D came into the movies where two pictures overlapping each other, and the glasses would cross those two pictures together. Now in the 2010s comes a long digital 3D where 3D is a lot sharper. Also, 3D is becoming more common. During the 1960s was an innovation called smell-o-vision where audiences could smell what was in the movies. That was ill-fated, however, due to the distracting hissing sounds and also how the aroma was delayed for back audiences. When that didn't work, Movies like Rugrats Go Wild and Spy Kids 4 had scratch and sniff cards. The first person to make sound effects, the person who makes the sound effects is called the Foley artist. The position is named after Jack Foley, the first man to synchronize sound with film. During the 1980s, there was a popular invention of the video home system or VHS. People could bring their movies home and not wait for them to go on TV anymore. During the late 90s, the video was innovated into the DVD. The DVD had a much more advantage over the VHS. The DVD had a lot more features. You can skip to a scene without fast forwarding. DVDs wouldn't wear out as easily like a VHS would. The DVD was a lot lighter and thinner versus a bulky video cassette. And the DVD wouldn't break in the player or get tangled up, aka 8, like the VHS would. When you were finished with your movie, you didn't need to rewind it over and over again like the VHS. The VHS ceased production in the mid-2000s. Now, there are also Blu-ray discs along with the DVD. Television was first invented in 1925 as a mechanical television. In the same year, color television was invented. An American named Philo Farnsworth invented the first electronic television and created the first image, a straight line. Television became common in the 1950s and color television became common in the 1960s. 
One of the first channels to produce in color was NBC. The notable Peacock logo is a symbol of color TV and has been ex in existence since 1962. Now, digital D TVs are becoming common. A local TV channel, KWWL, was founded in 1943 as a radio station by R.J. McElroy. It had competition with a competing station, KXEL. They were in a legal tug of war, and Joe Dummond's plan to encourage others to boycott KWWL was exposed. Thus, KWWL won. Almost everything, even the commercials, were live. No time to edit out mistakes. Uh, I mean, mistakes. Oops, we're still recording. Also in the innovation of movies is the special effects. The early monster movies talk about lame. They had no computer effects, all they had was green screen and it was either a stop motion object or a handmade object. With computer technology, everything is a lot cooler. One thing a lot of us probably know is that in scenes where characters fall or other dangerous stuff is they have a stunt double who has a, to look like a carbon copy of the actor. The buildings, rocks, etc. look tall or water looks deep but it really isn't. One shot has the actor, the next is the stunt double doing the stunts. Then we turn away from him or her as he she falls safely on a cushion. <laughs> Did you see that? That was my stunt double. That was not me. Are you okay? Yes, I'm okay. What's next in the innovation? My guess is that we can see 3D movies without the glasses. Maybe it might turn four-dimensional where they actually come out at you. Who knows? But I do know that as long as they keep on innovating, it just gets better and better. I'm Hannah Ackman, and this is History Live, coming soon to a theater near you. Oh, good show.